One more thing I'll show you before this class is finished. I'll show you how to make an ad for a specific Skillshare course or class because while it might not work sending ads straight to your profile, it might work to promote an exact class and then get people involved with you from there. So one of my classes people have liked recently I've made is a complete online teaching business setup. So what I'm going to do now is make a new ad group for this specific class. On Google AdWords, you can only use one landing page or URL per ad group. So if you want to advertise your profile and a specific class, you have to make a different ad group. So what I'll do now, I hit plus ad group while I'm in the campaign and what I'll call this is the exact name of the class and I'll do complete online teaching business setup. And now I'll put the max CPC bid at the same and now what I need is my spreadsheet over here. So I go down here, I need my landing page URL here. So I grab this and I'll put that in on the landing page. And now here's the cool thing, I'm actually going to copy my remarketing over. So I'm not even going to fool around with putting it in initially, but Google it may not let me, yes. Okay, you have to actually select something. So what I'll do real quick is just go into my video viewers list and put all my video viewers in. And then I can actually copy all those ones over from the previous ad group I made so I don't have to go manually select all of them again. Now I need an image. Now Skillshare thankfully should have a cover image on this page so hopefully Google will be able to just pull my cover image from the page and we'll see what happens. Otherwise, I can just upload it straight from what's already on there. So that's beautiful. It pulled the image straight from here. I can crop it a little bit and hit continue. So that's nice. So that's got another thumbnail on it and I hit save. So thankfully, these Skillshare ads make doing the image much easier. So I've got the image now and you can see then if someone sees an ad from the other ad group, then you can see the consistency here where it's got my face again plus a word and a little picture. What I need to do here first is fix the URL. So this, the direct Skillshare link goes in the tracking URL template. This will allow you to affiliate market in the sense of get a referral and all that. So I click over here, I put the exact URL in and then what I do, I go back here and put the page it actually went to in the final URL. So this is the link that goes to the tracking URL. This is the class that goes into the final URL. Now keep in mind, on Google AdWords, the final URL includes your Skillshare class name. If you change your name of your class in Skillshare, and I'm saying this so I remember it, if you change the name of your class in Skillshare, it will change the URL also, if you change the URL, your final URL will not work. Your ads will immediately automatically get disapproved. If you do that on a bunch of classes at once, you might get your whole account suspended. So, if you're going to make an ad for a class, make sure you're going to leave the title as is indefinitely. I have no plans of changing any of my class titles. However, now that I'm making these ads, I'll have to remember that if I do. So what I've got here, I've got the tracking URL done, I've got the final URL done, now I just need the headlines. I go over to my class and I probably can't copy hardly anything from here, complete teaching business. And that's one character over, nice. Online, my, my online teaching Nope, that's even more words, isn't it? This is one of the hardest parts on these ads. Full teaching business setup. Nope, that's too late. Online teaching business. There, so I, online teaching business, that, that fits there. So online teaching business setup. Is there any shorter way to do this? I'm not sure. So let's go to the long headline now. I'm 
So I've got online teaching business is my big, huge head word here. And then I've got a description I can put with that. And I can do the business name again for consistency is jerrybanfield.com. And then I've got a long headline. See my complete online teaching business set up on Skillshare in this new class. In this October 2016 class. That way someone knows how old it is if this ad runs for a year. There, so see my complete online teaching business setup. There, so it, I like having my name in the big headline. It's got my face and there, maybe I could do Jerry Banfield and then maybe I've got 11 more characters classes and I could do new Jerry Banfield class well that fits can be close yes there we go new Jerry Banfield class perfect see my complete oh here we go now enroll in a complete online teaching Enroll in there. Now you just you can see this is just ugly. You just do your best. Oh, here we go. So I won't modify this. I'm gonna leave that as is. And now in the description, I'll hit enroll in a complete online teaching business setup with me on Skillshare to see how I do this. Nope. There we go. So I'll just cut out Skillshare. There, enroll in a complete online teaching business setup to see how I how I teach full-time online. There we go, done. And remember, you don't have to make a perfect ad. What you want to do is make sure your ad gets approved first, and then you can try different versions of this. And when you try different versions of this over and over again, then you'll be able to see which one works the best. So now you can see how it looks. New Jerry Banfield class right here. Enroll in a complete online teaching business setup to see how I teach full time online. And then you can see exactly how all of these show in different areas. So these are very nice looking Google ads on here. I've got my image, my short headline, my long headline, and the description business name I'm ready to go. So I hit save ads. Now I've misspelled things in ads. I've written ads poorly and they've still converted. You don't have to do your ad perfect. It's more important to just get the ad done. Get the ad done, make sure it goes through review and then go try different versions of it. So all you have to do to try a new version of your ad, you can then just copy and edit your ad you can click over here and go to copy and paste. You can do the same thing I did with the ad group and then you just make a new version of the ad, try some different text. The final thing in this I'll show you is how I then add all those audiences. So I'm in the ad group, you can see the ad. I go back to display network. Now it only has YouTube in there so far, right? What I can do, I can actually click over here, go straight to all these other audiences I can then select all of these other audiences, copy, go back over into this one, and then paste. So this will paste everything in to the new ad group. Now, one thing I don't want to do, well, the destination URLs, I'm not even sure what it means in that. that I don't even know why I'd use that in audience. Some of these words are confusing. You don't have to know what everything exactly means. So I've got the information about this list size in here. So I will just go back, hit the back button over here and I'll go paste all of that in here and paste 71 audiences in the new ad group. I've got bids and bid adjustments. So there, I'll just hit paste in here. So now it'll put, it's got all of these new audiences in there. So everything is all set up now. I've got all these audiences in this one. So I've got this full ad campaign here. Now it's got three different basic offers. It's got my profile split 
into two different categories and then it's got this which targets everyone to one specific Skillshare course. So this is how I've then made my ads just for the USA then all I need to do is copy this campaign, do some more work in this campaign and then I can reach my entire global audience doing the same thing.